everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Claire and I put out videos about luxury bags and accessories and sometimes some other things too. So if that is your thing please click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload a new video. Okay this is my New York shopping haul unboxing um, so everything I bought in New York I will be showing you an unboxing today um, now um, all my New York vlogs have gone up I really hope you've seen them if you haven't I will link them all down below so you can watch them to those of you that have seen them and commented thank you so much I've had some amazing comments about the vlogs um, people really enjoying the sightseeing one really loving the one um, on the day that we went to fashion file so you know thank you so much for watching thank you for your comments and if I haven't replied to your comment yet, I will, I promise. I'm getting around to replying to every single comment. I want to do that and don't worry, I will reply to your comment. I so appreciate the engagement and you commenting on my video and letting me know what you think. It's just been really, really good. Some of the comments have been amazing because um, certainly with the sightseeing vlog, some of you have shared your own stories about certain things that I covered in that vlog. So um, yeah, that's been really, really interesting. And um, you know, thank you for sharing those stories with me. I really appreciate it. So as I say, they'll all be linked below. So if you haven't seen any, please check them out and obviously all my fellow luxury youtubers that were with me in new york um they've got their vlogs out as well so that's amelia from amelia rose's closet meredith from living Lux with meredith gwenny from star by gwenny victoria from accounting for luxury um, lisa from luxury and life in the middle um, deb's from wild unfiltered um, and obviously i did meet up as well with maria from maria louise loves luxuries so oh goodness i hope i haven't missed anyone out that is everyone isn't it meredith amelia Rose, Debs, Gwenny, Victoria, Lisa and Maria. I think that's it hopefully. <laughs> that's all the YouTubers I certainly saw in New York that uh, week that we were there. Okay so moving on to the unboxings. Um, now I said in the first vlog that um, when me and my husband went to New York we didn't have the sole intention of just shopping. We wanted to do plenty of sightseeing as well and to be honest my husband doesn't really enjoy shopping so I didn't want to be dragging him around the shops every day that we were there but I did get to do a bit of shopping. I certainly spent one day with the luxury YouTubers where we went to Fashion File and we did some other pre-love shopping in uh, what goes around comes around and in in the real real we also went to a few other stores in Soho and I got a few bits that I was really wanting to get um, and then the following day um, when we were in Fifth Avenue I did pop into a couple of stores there and I did get something in one of the very special stores on Fifth Avenue so let's kick it all off with um, Sephora um, now um, we have the Sephora website here in the UK we don't have that many stores there's certainly no stores near where I live um, uh, there is a store in London now which I think opened last year um, but years ago we had Sephora stores they all closed down um, and we didn't have access to the Sephora website here in the UK for years and years and then finally a couple of years ago they reopened their website access to us so we could order things and I've certainly found with Sephora here in the UK a lot of brands that I really like makeup brands um, they just don't have the full range on the UK website so you might be able to get some of the shades but not all of them so I went into Sephora with the intention of buying a few of my favourite brands um, and buying some shades that we don't always get here in the UK or that are sometimes out of stock um, when you go onto the UK website. Um, it's also a little bit cheaper, some of these brands are cheaper in the US even with tax after the conversion it works out a tiny bit cheaper. So I went into Sephora and I picked up um, what's in this bag. So I haven't got a great big bag as you can see, just a few bits but they're, they're items that I really like like using or there's some new shades as I say that I wanted to try so one of the first items is this is makeup by Mario can you see that can I get that into focus no my camera doesn't want to focus there we go hopefully you can see that it is the I can't even read it myself moisture glow pumping lip color and I bought this in the soft blush now this um, for ages and ages wasn't available or this particular product wasn't available on the Sephora website over here and I really wanted to try this actually and it is I have worn it since I bought it in the US and it is really nice and it's a lovely colour so I got that one by Makeup by Mario I do have other um, lip balms and a few other bits Makeup by Mario which I really do like um, the other lip colour I got was from Lawless and 
again if I can get that in focus this is the forget the filler limp plumping line smoothing gloss now I use this all the time and this is in the color velvet so I um, just stocked up on this because I say it's a little bit cheaper over there so I can get it out the box <laughs> um, yeah it's a, a really nice kind of pinky color it is actually the color I've got on at the minute so you can see that it's a very soft pink um, but I do go through that because I use that um, on the daily basis and I top up all through the day so I really go through that quickly and then there's three other items let's get rid of the bag and these are all by Rare Beauty got two here stay vulnerable glossy lip balm so there we go getting into focus I got um, nearly apricot and nearly neutral this is the nearly apricot one it's kind of a nice kind of pinky color and this is the um what did I say this one was called nearly neutral and obviously yeah quite a nice sort of neutral color so I haven't tried those yet but um it was just really nice to go in store and actually swatch these and have a look at the color because say I'm used to ordering it online and I just have to take my chances online and make sure I'm getting a colour that actually will work for me and I don't always pick the right colour because sometimes it is hard to see online. Um, and then the final thing I got was again Rare Beauty and this is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. Get that in focus as well. There we go. And this is in the colour Outshine. Now this is nearly always out of stock on the Sephora website in the UK and this is a very soft gold highlighter colour. Now I have these highlighters from Rare Beauty. I really do like the Rare Beauty highlighters. So this one is Mesmerise and that's a pink. I'm wearing that today actually. I wear that one quite a bit. Um, this is a very pale one. This is um, yeah Enlighten. So that's a very pale. And then I wear this one a lot which is kind of a, a kind of a dark pinky gold and that's um, Flaunt. So I do wear that one a lot and this is um, a much more gold gold if that makes sense and this is the one I've just bought outshine so that's how they the two goldy colors compare um, I don't know if these are coming across well on camera or not but um, yeah I've tried to buy this one in the UK before and it's it's always out of stock um, it's probably back in stock now I've managed to get it but uh, yeah certainly the last few times I've tried to buy it it's been out of stock so that was my items from Sephora as I say they all worked out a little bit cheaper than what I can get over here um, even after the tax because um, yeah they're just a bit cheaper in the States so it was really nice going into a Sephora store because as I say just don't have any here near me so it was really lovely to have a look around uh, look at some of the testers and swatch them and just get an idea of some of the shades so I'm looking forward to trying those out as I say the only one I've tried so far is the makeup by Mario lip balm or lip gloss so yeah so that's my Sephora stuff so the next item is something I really really wanted to get from Diptyque and we were queuing for our pizza um, and I said to Lisa from uh, Luxury in Life in the Middle is there a diptyque nearby and she said yes there is and it was literally on the corner of the road we were in queuing for our pizza for a couple of shops down there was a diptyque so I went in and I asked them if they had this because this is something I really wanted to get and this is something very special that I could only get in New York so I'm going to take this out I haven't it's still sealed I haven't taken this out since I bought it so let's have a look so undo it there there we go so and this is the new york edition diptyque candle i know that light's shining off of that but um yeah this is a um standard size diptyque candle so one of the large ones they do obviously they do the large and the small this is the sort of standard larger size and this is the new york um, special candle so you can only buy this in New York so it's my understanding that Diptyque do these city specific candles all over the world and you can only buy them in the city that they are for so you can only buy the New York one in New York you can only buy the Paris one in Paris and I think that's where I first found out about them because I think um, when Connor from the closet by Connor went to Paris last year was it or the year before um, whenever he went to Paris on his trip I think he bought the Paris one in Paris and he obviously said you can only get these in the city that they are representing so I thought to myself I would really like to get the New York one as a memento of my time in New York so when I look at this I know it is New York specific 
that's where I got it. I could only get it in New York and it represents the time that I spent in New York. Um, in the store, they did have an open one, obviously, which I smelt. It smelt very musky and tobacco-y. So the, the smell of this particular one, as I say, was very musky. It was really nice. Um, yeah, so um, I just really wanted this. And then when I go to Paris next year, because you may have heard there's a trip on the cards to Paris next year I will get the Paris one and I probably need to get the London one because I'm assuming there must be a London one so next time I'm in Harrods or I'm up in London and I'm near Diptyque I might see if I can get the London one but yeah um, so that's my New York candle um, so very pleased with that so one of the other things um, I did get in New York, but this was not purchased by me, this was a gift. And you've probably seen this in some of the other luxury YouTubers' unboxings. Um, but this is the Louis Vuitton Sydney Guide, and mine is still wrapped up. And um, if you have seen the other unboxings, you'll know that this is from the lovely Meredith from Living Lux with Meredith. This is her way of telling us that we all have to go to Sydney. Um, basically, she said, this is in lieu of a plane ticket to Sydney um, because, uh, yeah, we've met up in London. We've met up in New York. We're looking to meet up in Paris. And she said at some time soon in the future, we need to go to Sydney and meet up in Sydney. And I am all aboard for that. I mean, that is going to be an absolute trip of a lifetime. That is going to take a lot of saving up for, a lot of planning, a lot of... Oh, yeah, that's going to be a biggie. But, I mean... That was lovely and generous of her to give us this Sydney guide. I haven't opened it yet. I'm looking forward to opening it and looking and reading. Um, but I know when I open and read it, it will just make me want to go to Sydney all, all the more. But yeah, one day, maybe one day, we will get to Sydney and we will be able to see Meredith there. And then, of course, we're going to have to visit Brisbane so that we can see Dale and Connor as well. You know, that goes without saying. Um, or have them come to Sydney. Um, but yeah, I mean... That would just be amazing. So thank you, Meredith. I really appreciate this. And my husband actually was so taken with this. He's bought me the Amsterdam one because, um, again, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that he proposed to me in Amsterdam. So that's very much sort of our city. We had our first holiday together in Amsterdam and then a while later he proposed in Amsterdam. So yeah, he's bought me the Amsterdam one for our wedding anniversary, which is actually this month. So it looks like I'm potentially starting a collection of the Louis Vuitton travel guides. Moving on to the luxury shopping that I did. Now, I didn't do an awful lot of luxury shopping in New York because the luxury brands I like are cheaper in the UK, so it didn't really make sense for me to go and shop them in New York. A good reason to do that would be, obviously, for something that you just cannot get in your own country. It's out of stock, it's unavailable, but you can perhaps get it in New York. Now that was the case for a Fendi item because if any of you remember me unboxing my burgundy and pink Calibris, I got them in the higher heel because they were only available in the higher heel here in the UK. They were released in the lower heel in the US. So I did go into Fendi because I wanted to have a look around Fendi anyway because it's Fendi. So I went and had a good look around and I met an amazing sales associate who is also Lisa's sales associate and he was absolutely lovely and he confirmed those shoes are still available however they're not available in a 39 and a 39 and a half they're completely sold out in those two sizes which are the two sizes that I can get away with and can wear they are available in a 38 and a half and a 40 now 40 is probably too big because they have got that elasticated back and I think after a little while of wearing they would probably end up slipping off my feet the 38 and a half I really don't know if I can get away with that. I don't think I've ever tried a 38 and a half on. So I might, next time I'm in Fendi in London, I might try a 38 and a half on and see. The 38 and a half weren't available in store in New York, but he said he can always order them. And as long as Lisa is happy to ship them to me, he will obviously give them to Lisa to ship to me. So he said they are still available for me to order in a 38 and a half if I decide to. I'm thinking on the whole I probably won't now um, because I have got the higher heels and I'm thinking I might just wait and see what else comes out and you know rather than getting sort of a virtually identical pair which just got a slightly lower heel waiting and seeing what is out in the next few collections and maybe getting lower heel Calibris um, you know new ones that come out so yeah I'm still thinking about that but it was really great to go into Fendi and meet um, Lisa's sales associate have a look at what they had in New York now I didn't buy anything in Fendi however um, Lisa's sales associate very kindly gave me two samples of the Fendi perfume um, and one of them is um, La Baguette which I haven't 
tried this sample yet i've tried la baguette when i first went into harrods and looked at the perfume and i don't think i was that struck on it but i'm i'm happy to try it again i've got a sample i will give it a couple of tries and see if i come around to that one but he also gave me what is now my favorite which is sombra mio and again can that focus yeah so yeah sombra mio um I think that's always mine. I think that's called. I think that translates to always mine. If I've got the right um, translation on that, I think. And um, this um, has actually become my favourite. The more I've tried this one, the more it's become my favourite. So I have decided when I actually buy a full size bottle of the Fendi perfume, it is probably going to be this one. So it was very kind of him to give me the two samples. So it's uh, it's really nice to have some Fendi samples of their perfume. Um, didn't buy anything in Fendi. What we did do is, when we were on Fifth Avenue, is go into Tiffany and I wanted to have a look at Tiffany. I think I said in one of my previous videos prior to going to New York that I did want to look in Tiffany. Tiffany are a little bit cheaper in the US than in the UK because it is a, an American brand. And um, yeah, so my hubby actually ended up buying me a little something from Tiffany. So um, this is from the Fifth Avenue store, the landmark store. So you get a Tiffany & Co landmark bag with this gorgeous little landmark store charm, which I was very happy to get. That was really nice. Um, inside here, actually, I've got um, my our postcards from the plaza. So when we had high tea at the plaza, and that vlog is out on my channel as well. We were all given these little postcards at the end of the tea, so I popped that in my Tiffany bag. So, what I got comes in this little box, so it's beautifully wrapped. I'm gonna take the ribbon off and show you what I've got inside here. Now, this is something I've been looking at for a while, and here we go, it's in its little Tiffany blue bag. Now, this is quite small, so I'm hoping it will come up on the camera um, there we go, right, let's take it out, and it is the Micro Hardware Bracelet in Silver, and, um, it's got these gorgeous little links that are the, the hardware, um, kind of link style. Now, this is the Micro one. Now, my husband bought this for me as a gift. I wasn't expecting that. I really wanted to go and have a look at these bracelets and when I decided the one I wanted to get, he said he was going to buy it for me as a gift. Um, now, this is the micro one. Um, now, we did look at the small one, which is a bit bigger. Um, but I have these two bracelets here, which are quite small and dainty. And when you see this bracelet with them, you can see that the new bracelet is kind of in keeping with the width and the size of my existing two bracelets that I wear pretty much every day. Um, these are both bracelets bought for me by my husband. Um, and yeah, this um, I felt fitted in with them really nicely. Now the small one of these is bigger and he was quite willing to, to buy me the bigger one. It was more expensive, but he was quite willing to buy me that bigger one. But when I put it on my wrist, it was much bigger than these two bracelets and it kind of didn't look right. It looked out of place. I just felt that um, this fitted with my stack and uh, yeah, I, I much preferred the smaller one. I like my, my thin, dainty bracelets. I really enjoy wearing those and I felt that this fitted in perfectly. So yeah, so that was really lovely of him to buy that for me. Um, yeah, so that's my Tiffany um, hardware micro bracelet. So now I've unboxed that, I can start wearing that because that is an everyday bracelet that's just going to go on with these two that I wear every day. So I'm so excited to have something like that that I can wear every day and every time I look at my wrist I'll be able to see that bracelet on there and that will remind me of my time in New York. It will remind me of going to Fifth Avenue, going to the Landmark store and getting that bracelet. It was a lovely experience. So every time I look down at my wrist when I'm working away I will think of that day and think of that moment in New York. So that's Tiffany. Let's get on to the biggie, probably what most of you are here for, which is what I got from Fashion File. Now, um, if you watched my Fashion File vlog, you will see that I had a chat with the lion, Gwenny's husband, and um, it was pretty clear from what I was saying in that what brand I bought. Um, so yeah, no surprises from that. Also, actually seeing what I was looking at on the vlog, um, I showed you pretty much 
two items that I was absolutely in love with and I was trying to decide between the two items. Some of the other YouTubers were very much encouraging me to get both and I was very tempted and um, I probably could have got both if I wanted to but I did actually decide to just get one. There was one that absolutely did it for me and it was a it's hard to explain it was a difficult it was a difficult decision because I did like both but ultimately there was no decision because there was one that was just the one and I think in all honesty I knew it before I went because it was the one I just kept looking at on the web website all the time um, and they discounted it just before we went and I was just absolutely hoping that it was still there when we got there because I didn't want to order it prior to going there I was just hoping it was still there now here it goes it's in a fashion file dust bag it didn't come in its own Chanel dust bag and box but I really didn't care about that it's in a fashion file um, dust bag now some of you on your comments on the vlog you said which one you preferred you know I was looking at the green and the pink so it basically came down to the green or the pink as I said ultimately in the end it wasn't really a major decision because right from the start I had fallen in love with the green so there we go I bought the green wallet on chain and <laughs> he's just gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous yes the pink was lovely um, the thing about the pink was there are so many different shades of pink and it was a lovely shade of pink but I wasn't quite sure whether it was the right shade of pink for me I could imagine it going with some of my wardrobe but there was a lot of my wardrobe I thought no it's not quite the right shade of pink um, and there was also a little bit of um, damage on the inside now it was marked as excellent condition and it was described with a little bit of damage on the interior but um, on the interior there was a little bit of leather that had been nicked out and when I saw that it kind of just sealed the deal that I was going to get this one and not the pink because that would just bother me too much it, it just I couldn't really live with that but it just kept, made me think well actually yeah I'm not upset about that because it really is the green that I want and yeah it was the green it just, it just was the green all the time it was the green I suppose I was just making sure I was 100% certain by looking at the pink as well and looking at the other colours too you know if you saw the um video I put out about my fashion file research that prior to going I did want to look at a few peekaboos um, and some Fendi um, items I didn't end up looking at the peekaboos I ended up not putting them in the the wish list when I was actually there um, I just decided to focus on the Fendi um, vintage baguette and the wallet on chains because there was quite a lot of woks to look at I didn't even look at all the woks that I wanted to look at because by the time I got my hands on this one I kind of thought yeah it's it's going to be this I don't even want to look at the others at this point um, I didn't look at the peekaboos I did look at the vintage Fendi baguette and I really liked that and again I probably could have bought that I thought about it I did seriously think about buying that but ultimately I decided it was a little bit overpriced and I got a little bit of advice from some of the others there that are you know know a little bit more about vintage Fendi baguettes as well and they agreed it was a little bit overpriced um, and so I focused on this this was a good price this actually um, had a discount on it which I found out about at checkout because they were running this um, 8% off I think that weekend on Chanel items um, in honour of Chanel's birthday so that was a nice surprise um, so it actually ended up um, costing me um, quite a bit less than what a wok would be brand new in the UK to purchase um, and it pretty much cost me about the same sort of money that my black one cost me a few years ago so I bought this one um, quite a few years ago um, and I think this one ended up costing about the same in pounds in, in pounds sterling obviously over the years there has been a lot of Chanel price increases and this has gone up in the UK now to nearly three thousand pounds the price of this at Fashion File the discount it already had and then the money off and all of that it worked out a lot less than three thousand pounds I have to say a lot less so I was very pleased with that so let's look it is this beautiful green I don't know if it's coming across on camera beautiful green champagne gold hardware which actually looks silver sometimes in some lights but it is champagne gold um, it is in excellent condition um, there's the chain because obviously it's a wallet on chain um, I don't know if it's been used it doesn't show any signs of use um, the only thing there is is a little bit of denting here where the zip up here 
um, sits there and that you get that on so many walks um, everything else about it is excellent the interior is immaculate um, there is a chip in here and yeah the chip has actually still got the sticker on it so I need to take the sticker off the chip um, everything else yeah it's, it's just it's amazing there was a little mark on it when um, the lady at fashion file gave it to me and I have to say the staff at fashion file looked after us so amazingly they were so lovely and they just kept bringing these bags out and taking them away bringing more out you know and they were at our beck and call they were so lovely and um, this lovely lady brought me this out and when I first did look at it there was a little mark on the back a little black mark and I couldn't work out what it was and I was like looking and trying to kind of work out and just kind of um, touching here to see if it would come off was it a speck of dust and I had no idea what it was so I said to her you know do you know what this is is this a problem what was the problem? and she said oh I'm so sorry she said there's nobody here that can really um, deal with that today and she said to me well hold on a minute let's see if we can take it away and get someone to look at it through the magnifier which I assume is what they use for authentication purposes because they um, you know do have a very thorough authentication um, process and uh, she took it away she, um, during that time I was filming some of the other YouTubers, I was looking at some other bags. She came back with it and she said, it's gone. She said, we've, we've taken it off. She said, and I said, oh, wow. She said, yeah, she said, they looked at it and it was just some sort of speck of dust or dirt that had got stuck um, in between the grain of the caviar leather and it's gone. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing there. And yeah, I mean, again, had that been, um, had that been what I thought it was at first, which was was actually a little scratch on the leather, that might have bothered me. But the fact it was just a bit of dust and they got rid of it, it just meant then that this was absolutely perfect. And I said to her at that point, yeah, I'm going to take this. It's like, don't put that back on the shelves. I'm having this. And um, yeah, I am so thrilled with it. It's just such a gorgeous colour. It's on my wish list this year to get another wallet on chain in a really lovely colour that would go with a lot in my wardrobe. And this does go with a lot in my wardrobe. Um, and I just love this green. I absolutely love it. It's such a lovely colour. I don't have any handbags in green and yet it's one of my favorite colors um now i actually wore this today the first time i wore this today i went out for lunch with my husband and i'm wearing navy on the top but if i stand up you will see i don't know if you see i need to move back so that you can actually see it i'm wearing like a green skirt with navy and pink you probably can't see that very well but there we go and um yeah i just wore this wok with my navy top and green skirt and um, it just worked really well. And I must admit, I um, got ready for lunch and I thought to myself, I don't have any bag that will go with this outfit, really. Um, and then I thought, yes, I do. I've got this one now. And it was a perfect opportunity to wear my wallet on chain. So it has had its first outing to so say we went out for lunch today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy. I didn't think... I was going to be able to get another wok this year or I thought if I did I might have to go brand new at the store and then I didn't really want to pay through nearly three thousand pounds for a wallet on chain when I think you know a Fendi regular size baguette is less money than that and it's just you know the Chanel prices these these days just just make me yeah really think twice about buying Chanel because I think what else I can get for that money from other brands and um, yeah so to find one pre-loved in such excellent condition at a really good price was just amazing I'm, I'm so pleased yeah and um, I know the others were encouraging me to get both it was tempting I did think about getting the pink one as well and I say also thought about maybe the vintage baguette but I'm really pleased I've got this one and just the one. It makes it a bit more special. This is my New York bag now. This is the luxury bag that I got from New York um, and it just makes it really, really special. Um, and I'm pleased that I got just the one because I think as well I'll get more use out of it. Because again, you know, this outfit that I'm wearing, this has got pink in the skirt. So the pink would have gone with this outfit. If I had I bought both, I'd have been there this morning thinking, well, do I wear the green or the pink? And I would have picked one and then the other one would have missed out. So I think actually sometimes less is more. So this one will get lots of love and lots of use because it is, um, you know, the only other one I have in a colour other than black. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if that makes sense. But in my head, that makes me happy that I did just get the one because I have, uh, you know, one now that will 
as I say, get a lot of love, a lot of use, and certainly it's another thing now that I will wear and it will remind me of New York, remind me of that amazing day that we had at Fashion File um, with all the other luxury YouTubers when we were all oohing and ahhing over all the bags we were trying on, um, totally overwhelmed by all the bags at Fashion File and uh, you know trying to make uh, decisions about what we should get. I'm so happy with the decision that I made. So yeah, I hope I'm coming across how happy I am to have this bag. I really am because it's, oh I love it, it's such a gorgeous colour. I mean yeah, just look at this colour, isn't it gorgeous? So all of you in my comments on that vlog that were saying I'm team green, go for the green, I went for the green, I hope that makes you happy. I know a few people said go for the pink, and the pink was lovely, the, the pink was gorgeous, and I think the pink is still for sale on Fashion File, so if any of you out there want it, grab it, because it's, it is a lovely bag, but as I say, it does have a little bit of damage just inside, so you just need to be aware of that. I know some people that really wouldn't bother, um, but yeah, and, and uh, you know, I do love the wallet on chain so much. There might be a time where I do get another wallet on chain again in a different colour, but for the moment I'm very happy with this and I want to use this. And I've just thought actually, I meant to show you these as well. I hope this is not does not mean this video drags on too long. But I bought a wok saver um, from woksaver.com. I know the lady that runs that, so I will link the company down below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I bought my um, wok saver for my black wok from her and uh, I bought this one in green so it's a pretty good match um, and it just um, is the base saver basically it pushes the base out so you can actually get more um, and say I was using that um, wok saver in there today when I took it out so that I could um, put my bits and pieces in there and then the other thing I bought was uh, what they call a sleeper felt and this is in cream and it just goes over the wok like that and then you close it and it's got a little pearly flower there and it just protects that inside so it just gives a little layer of felt in between that zip and the caviar leather again just to um, hopefully mean that that indentation doesn't get worse as time goes on and just again protects the front of the wok so I uh, store it with the base saver in and with the little sleeper felt um, I usually tuck the chain in actually um, and I have say a fashion file dust bag to keep it in so yeah so uh, I just thought um, I'd share those with you I say I'm not sponsored but I will link those down below in case you're interested um, because they are certainly um, uh, very reasonably priced and they're good products um, to help you store your wok so I'm sorry I'm just put the chain I'll just put the chain back in put the sleeper felt back on and it's ready for storage but hopefully it's not going to be in storage too long because hopefully I'm going to get it out and use it again quite soon so that is everything I bought in New York it's not um, you know an absolutely enormous haul but I'm really really pleased with what I got I'm so happy with all these bits and pieces um, my makeup my candle obviously my bracelet that my lovely husband bought me I'm so grateful to him for buying me that and my gorgeous wok so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up please let me know what you think of my purchases and yeah um, I really appreciate you watching thank you everyone I look forward to seeing you on the next one bye everyone